Now let's get into it. This is a little scary. We're talking heights of giraffes here, okay? So look at these giraffes. An 18-year-old giraffe, 4.25 meters, 20, 4, 4. You can see the chart here. It's on the previous slide as well. Find the domain and range of the ordered pairs for, listed for the graph data above. I put it below so I can make it larger. But sometimes you're gonna get it as like a table or a chart. Sometimes you're gonna get it as coordinates. Many times you're gonna get it as coordinates. Now, the nice thing is the X value, the first one is always your domain and the Y value is always your range. Now, sometimes they'll call it input output. The first column is typically your input. So those would be your domain. The second column would always be your range. I always try to remember it like doctor, right? Domain is always first, range is always second. Now, when you list these, you're going to list them like this. D colon, and then you've got a squiggly parentheses. It kind of looks like a sideways mustache for a cartoon. So you list all the domain values from least to greatest. Now, if it's in there more than once, which we have here, you only list it once. So what's the smallest age we see here? Well, I see 14, that's the smallest, so I would write that first. After that, I have 18 and 18. It's in there twice, but we only write it one time. And then we've got 20 and 21. Then you write your squiggly parentheses to kind of close it out. Let me erase this for a little more room. Now we're going to list our range value. Range, remember, our output or the second column or the y coordinate. Same thing, least to greatest. If it's in there more than once, you only write it once. So the smallest one I see here, let's see, 4.25. Then we've got 4.4, or 4.40. Then we've got our 4.85, and 5.00, and 5.25. Make sure you close it out as well. Mine look terrible, so I'll, if yours doesn't look absolutely perfect, that's okay. Try your best. 